cost of origin update. So well, that's actually a very good segue because I know right now Pepperidge Farm also going to introduce you to Eric from Advantix. Uh, he is currently, they are the uh, provider for cellular for the, uh, for the MTI. For the MTI. So I'm just going to pass this over and then once we're done we're uh, going to do a little Q&A and I'm going to bring it in. And Thank you. Hi everyone, how's it going? Thank you for having me. My name is Eric. I'm with Advantix. Um, Advantix, is, our solution is bringing you a multi-carrier SIM card that has built-in redundancy and built-in security in it that uh, also works on six different carriers in the U.S., those being Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T, Union Cellular, Cellular One, and uh, U.S. Cellular. So many cellulars. But uh, that allows... Uh, the technology behind that smart SIM allows you to have peace of mind knowing that you'll be able to stay connected no matter where you are. And the automatic failover uh, occurs in less than a second and it's very, very seamless. So with that being said, you have those six different carriers all under one price and no contracts, which is great. The way I like to describe it is the smart SIM is like the Lamborghini of connectivity right with access to a six lane super highway that that means you know with a single carrier there could be a tower down or just a lot of traffic on one single lane the technology inside of the smart sim allows it to switch lanes and maneuver past that uh, in less than a second so you don't bog down you're not wasting any time you know finding uh trying to find a signal putting uh, steps on your pedometer right <laughs> Uh, to me, I think it's a great solution for everyone here. Um, and as we mentioned, uh, Advantix has been part of, or we were part of the 1.0 MTI change. I think it happened like three years ago. Uh, and we currently do have a bunch of your, uh, 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 I believe like 700 uh, drivers that are still on it. Um, and we haven't seen any turnover. Uh, we, all we get is great feedback. Uh, Ooh, sorry, got my notes. Uh, uh, but other than that, I mean, it works in any device. We had it tested in the T Ranger. We, I have it in a Samsung upstairs. Um, and if you have an iPad, we can actually do an eSIM to where you don't even need a SIM card. Um, and if your your device does break, uh, we're able to just take it out or just move it over. Um, and like I said, it's. You have the pricings there, I believe it's fifteen fifty a month. Uh, and there's no contract. So it's month to month. You're not locked into a three year agreement or anything like that. Uh, and it works on every device that, you know, they're forcing you to use. Uh, that's all I have for you guys. Uh, everything on that sheet is what you need if you really if you want to learn more or really sign up for our data package. Uh, definitely give me a shout and we'll go ahead and get that rolling. Question? Yes. Okay, so two gigs is 1555. So out of these 700 units, what does two gigs get you? Is that enough to do business? Absolutely. Uh, so we spoke to Corbett, uh the folks that do the software. Uh, they ensured us it's about a gig to a gig and a half. Uh, we provided that two gig data plan just to give a little bit of buffer, uh, just in case you know you happen to go over uh, and you don't get charged, so you don't get charged over Eric, Yes. Real, real quick, uh, we were part of the initial uh, you know, transformation a few years ago as a pilot, and when we got the Advantix plan, that two gigabyte didn't, didn't cover it. We ended up having to pay monthly overages, so we increased it, and then when we expanded the route, we got a second iPad, we went on a higher plan, and, and but, uh, but last night you said that you know, now that we've got two of them together, the two gigabytes, two of them, like so four gigabytes essentially should work, but I'm just sharing, at least for us, we had one iPad with seven stores, and we're doing a combo route for Ed in Max. We, every month we ended up having to pay, or almost every month, we'd have to pay between $19 and $20 overages on top of the $15. And this, this literally 
work I've had, nothing else. No waiting around on here. Literally, truly, decks in, decks out, communicate. It's it. This was works for this work. That's, that's, uh, so I wasn't a part of that, but Advantix was. And now that you have more than one route or more than one device, they actually pull together. So I know you see less overages now. On this new plan, uh, the overage price is a lot less. Uh, and uh, when we did speak to Corver a couple months ago, they said they rewrote their software, so it's not using as much data. Yeah, and that, that could be the case. Like I said, we were, we were literally like the first guy in the country to get it. And um, he's an early adopter of technology. So right after, and it was a clunky rollout, but right after it started, like I said, when we transitioned over, that's, and we couldn't figure it out. Like I said, I, I asked him, I said, are you watching videos all day or something? Or you know, what's going on? I couldn't believe how much money we were, we were paying over. And this data plan is substantially less than what the original one was. Uh, because it is the original one was through uh, Pepperidge Farms itself. So, uh, and like they do everything else, right? They wanted to go ahead and take more from you than give you. Uh, we tried to we tried to eliminate that and give you more data and a better a better uh, connectivity experience. So, so when Pepperidge Farms started communicating with, with that uh, tablet, where does the data come from? Where's the Where's the data charge? Is it our data charge or their data charge? So it's, it's your data charge for the SIM, right? Uh, it's for your device to run your business. Uh, they taxed it a lot, <laughs> the first one. And that's why we worked with GCS and Ann to build this package for you guys now. Well, that's awesome. Thank you, Jared. Any other questions? So this is a separate bill built to us, not through Pepperidge. That is correct, yes. And it's 1550 uh, a month. And you know we have analytics and things like that behind it that come with that, uh, right? So you can monitor usage, you can uh, upgrade, downgrade if you need to. And like I mentioned earlier, if you have more than one route or more than one device, and you have a SIM in each one of those, all of those uh, data plans will pull together. So if one device isn't being used, right, and uh, your other employee is using a little bit more, then it, it all works in your one. No. Uh, yeah, so the, you get the, off your settlement statement, you get the 1975 every week deducted from your settlement statement. However, the, the, the Dantix, we pay once a month, and it's, for me, it's $46. It's 15, we have you know, two iPads, we do the $15 plan for one, but then when we got the other one, because I was paying so much in overages, I went with a higher plan, which I want to change based off. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah, I'll talk with the cost, but, but th there's a separate charge that you pay via credit card. It has nothing to do with your self-based. Yeah, it's a totally separate bill. It's, yeah. And that's why we did this one, so it doesn't have to route through members. Yeah, it was. Yes. You mentioned he has like seven stores in the house? No, well, now we have ten, but we initially, when, when we first did this, we had seven stores, and we were using more. And, but once again, if he said they rewrote the software and everything like that, it might be less. I know, but I have a lot more than seven or ten stores. So that's what my concern is. He only has like ten stores, and I have close to fifty. How many devices do you have? Just one? Three. So if you have a data plan for each one of those, you'll have a total of six gigs uh, to be pulled together. Yes. So the pooling is automatic then? Yes, it is. Um, as long as you know all of the all of the devices are under the initial uh, agreement. So it would be fifteen fifty five per unit. Yes, that is correct. Okay. And we do have. Uh, larger plans, uh, but after we did speak with Corver, we figured uh, that two gig plan and that offering that we're providing uh, is going to be a great fit for your rounds. Is there a, is there a way to make sure this is not being used? Like, multiple trucks? Absolutely, yeah. We can whitelist, we can blacklist um, any sites. We can also uh, send alerts. So. 
if you're at 1.5 gigs, right, and you have one week left, we'll send you an alert. Uh, the beauty about it is you can change that plan once a month. So if you're gonna, if you're at three weeks in, if you're at three weeks in and you're at uh, 1.5 gigs on your two gig plan, call me, hey Eric, can I change it? Can I bump this up real quick so I don't get an overage? And then the next month we bump it back down. So, okay, so what is the next plan after two gigs? Uh, there's a five gig, there's a 20 gig. How many if, five gig? Uh, so I don't have that okay. right now, but I can get it, I'll get it to Mark and then uh, he'll send it out to everyone. And one of the reasons why we didn't take five gig was we didn't price it out as we didn't think that it, we would need to use two gig. Right. One of the things that really just kind of surprises me is we're only sending data. We're only sending inventory tickets. That is very, very small files. I, I was shocked to hear that we are that we need one 1.5 gig. These are just little text files. That's for a month, though, right? Yeah, it should be not should be. So no if that's the case, why is the gentleman saying they were exceeding the that's all we're sending. Yeah. We're, we're sending, we're only sending with, with what we do, little data files. Who knows what Campbell's is sending. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because it was software. Well, that's and like, like I said, when we first got it, this software has changed so much over the last three years. It's unbelievable to me. And, and a lot of it is, it's not just us sending them tickets. It's, I think, all the software updates that are happening every day. Yeah, it's the downloads that happen. It, it, it's got to be what it is. Like I said, I've seen a lot of different technology rollouts. That's why we volunteered to be part of the pilot. Because, you know, we've been, in other industries have you know, done stuff like this. I've never seen such a problematic rollout of something. It's been three years now. It's, it's crazy. And like I said, we can set up those alerts, right? So uh, we'll, I'll do that for you also after we talk on, offline. Um, but moving forward, if you do want to choose our data plan, uh, remember it's that price for those two gigs, no contracts, and we'll be able to set up that alert to where we can help you manage the overages or not, or eliminate the overages, right? Um, but yeah, I'll be out there if you have any other questions. Um, yeah, here's Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.